such a cool design. I I think of this thing, and it, it looks like a spaceship, man. I love just this. Look at this nice window cut here. And so whoever is sitting in the back, they get a nice view. And also, one other cool feature, well, I'm in here. Do you see that? See that opening there? So when you're in flight, your passengers can also see below and I think that's that's really cool and then you've also got your engine gauge right there not engine gauge your fuel gauge right there but let me back up a little bit so this is the interior of the velocity guys this plane has one of the largest by largest I mean widest cabin in its class period it's a nice four-seater and it's a true four-seater and you see here fully loaded You've got the dual G3X Touch. That's a GTN 750, or could be another G3X, uh, but I doubt it. Um, and then you've got your other radio comms here. You've got your autopilot. It is a constant speed prop, and it is using, I would say, old tech engine. So you've got multiple levers, power, prop, and mixture. And given that you have two engines, you can see that you have two of each. So basically you have six levers here. One prop lever, two prop lever, one mixture, one mixture. So that's for both of your engines. And given that you've already seen the Excel, if you haven't, make sure you check it out. That's the link up top there or look in the description below. The comfort level, I would say exactly the same. There's nothing different about the cabin of this plane and the single engine plane. It's similar cabin, similar fuselage. Uh, as a builder, you will have the option to, you know, do any type of customization you want. And there's quite a bit in this plane. Okay, so you can see it's pretty decked out. All soft uh, touches here. And also, if you look back there, you've got an oxygen system. So this is not a pressurized cabin, but it was built with the mountain high oxygen, which is the same portable oxygen that I have except instead of this being portable it's built into the plane which is usually the best way to go and i wish i did that but i did mine after the fact another cool feature about this plane you see how just the shape of the entryway so ergonomically it's it's pretty beautiful but to get in even if you're on the taller or the shorter side you basically scoot in backwards that's how i would get into this thing just put your butt in and scoot in and if i go around it here and I'll talk some more numbers with y'all. And you see the nice galling door, just boom, open up. So you look at this front wing here, you see it's got some of this. I don't like to get technical on the video, so I'll, I'll leave more of the description of what these does in the description. So make sure you, you, you check it out.